everybody. Welcome to ABC Gluten Free. Thank you for joining us today. We have a great show planned for you called Curry Curry. And we have a little special music that Jeremiah is going to hit it for us. <laughs> oh, sorry, I heard you. All right, guys, um, that was just a little silly thing. We were talking about the Willy Bully song on Facebook. I was singing it all morning, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. I don't know why. I probably haven't heard the song in years. But it made me think of Curry Curry, and since it's National Curry Day, Willy Bully, I have no idea how it all came together. But when I went to go look it up, who sings Curry Curry, it was Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs, and they were all dressed in, like, Pharaoh... Um, and turbans, and I just thought that was so interesting. We're making curry, and we've got Wooly Bully and Sam the Sham. Maybe he should have had Jeremiah dress up as Sam the Sham. <laughs> that would have been funny, right? Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us today. I'm your host, Dana. This is my beautiful helper, Jeremiah. And this is my fabulous helper, Sophia. She's in the back getting her grater ready. Um, today in New Jersey, it's like super, super glary. So I apologize if I'm like, like squinting at you, but it's super glary and we have the curtains drawn and everything, but it's really, really glary. Are you glared today? No, nope. probably just because of my glasses. Everything bounces off of them. But anyway, so we have a great show planned for you today. We're going to be making curry. We're going to be making donuts and we're going to be, be making a delicious salad. Sophia, my helper, is going to get started. Um, we're going to do the donuts first. Jeremiah is going to help us later with the chicken and he'll be taking some pictures here and there. We have all our stuff for the curry here, all our stuff for the donuts here, so we just want to get you started. Um, for our donuts, we're making a nice pineapple coconut donut. We feel like it goes really good with our chicken curry, even though we are only using coconut milk. We have no grated or shredded coconut. Wow, look at you taller than mommy now. Who said you could do that? This is just not good. Look in the camera now. We've got two people. One is taller well, than the other, and it's not the right age. No, that's because I have six. Oh, that's okay. I'm not that tall. Either. All right, so for our donuts, it's a very simple recipe. We have a cup and a half of blended gluten-free flour. We have one teaspoon of baking powder. We just got that ready ahead of time. And I'm going to let Sophia just mix that around a little bit. We're going to be using today our excess hydrate powder drink, and this is a coconut pineapple or pineapple coconut. And this has no sugar in it, and we're going to do this for Gluten-Free Dad, because this is one of his favorite things, is the drink and the donuts. And this is Jeremiah's favorite drink, too, so we're going to be making him something special. So I'm going to use one packet of the Hydrate. Sophie, what are you doing? You can mix it around a little bit. Oh, so you're mixing it around a little bit? Okay. So we just want to blend the powder, the baking powder into there a little bit. And I have my fryer on 375. I've got my non-GMO sunflower oil in there. For those of you who don't have a fryer at home, I totally suggest to get one. Because when you go out and you're going free, you can never get french fries. You can never get like fried food, which is something that you always want to get when you go out. So if you get your fryer and you can do it at home, then you can have your safe food. Um, so this week we met a lot, of, like a lot of new gluten-free friends, and we're so thankful for them. Our friend Melissa, our friend like, Susan. It's like pop rock on the It is. You know what? It'd be a pixie stick. Right? It's like a pixie stick, that. Um, and we had a really great time, and the kids got to go snowboarding, and we got to visit with yeah. friends since we were yeah. off. Um, just so you know, I'm going to use about half a cup of seltzer water. And I love to use seltzer water when I'm baking. It was something that my Aunt Mary taught me a long time ago. Just adds a nice little moisture and a little bit of fluff. And Sophia's going to add that half a cup of seltzer water right into our, our donut dough. Now we're celebrating National Curry Day and National Glazed Donut Day. And I don't, come on, we need to mix it, we need to get going. I need to, um, I need to figure out the glaze because I don't really like glazing anything in sugar. We don't really do a lot of sugar here. They do more than we do. My husband and I go free dad, but... When we have um, a donut, I know it's a donut and you want to enjoy it, but you don't need to have so much sugar. So you're going to have to stop. Don't, don't press it down. You need to just mix it. You need to do it the right way. Here, take a spoon. All right. So Sophia's just mixing the donut batter, and we want to get that mixed up so we can get that into the fryer 
I'm going to do another half a cup of seltzer. Stop for a second. Thank you. And she's going to mix that around. Now, depending on what type of gluten-free flour blend you use, you might need to add a little bit more liquid because some um, flours absorb the liquid more than others, like a bean flour or a nut flour or coconut flour, which we did use today. So we're going to actually have to add, this is going to be total of a cup and a half of seltzer water. And I, I think for some reason I did two cups of flour, but I'm going to have to double check my notes. So the, the flour, the baking powder, and the seltzer, plus um, the packet of ingredients is all that we needed. What's the matter? This is I don't worry about it. Once she's done mixing this, um, we're going to let it sit, and we hope you guys, B-Y-O-A today, bring your, own napkin. bring your own napkin, because we certainly think you're going to be drooling over the curry, and the donuts, and our pineapple delicious salad. And if you're not familiar with, um, with um, any of the excess products, we have them on our website. It's excess energy drink. It's all B vitamins. It's all organic. It's natural. And it's very no healthy sugar. for you. And there's no sugar. And there's no bowl. There's no carbs. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We don't want to pound it. All right, so she's got a really nice consistency here. Very thick batter. We're going to let that rest for about 10 minutes. And we're going to get started on our chicken curry. So I'm just going to leave this over here. And we're going to get started. First, we're going to grate some of those vegetables that you would put in like a curry. We're not making a paste. We're just doing a curry, you know, like a saute. So I have the turmeric here um, that I actually peeled and had in the freezer. So turmeric is like ginger, very similar. They're a root vegetable, a root, I guess you call it a root, not a vegetable. It's a spice. And those... It's really good for you. It's very good for you. We also have our ginger juice. We have our lemon jalapeno juice, and we have our turmeric juice. All of these things that we juice individually Enough. that we can use in recipes. Go ahead, honey. If you're dye-free, you can use them as dyes without being. That's right. If you're dye-free and you don't like to use food coloring, you can use these as sub um, substitutes. So I'm going to just turn this on. I'm going to grate up the turmeric. Jeremiah, would you get me some of the spices? I need ginger. Um, I need cumin. Oh, wow, that smells so good. Smell that. You might not like it, but I love it. You don't like it. It smells like pickles. It smells a little bit like pickles. You're right. Which, what do you think is in pickles? Mm -hmm. Turmeric. They put turmeric in pickles either for coloring or like a stabilizer. So that's interesting. You see that's so okay. Three more carrots. All right, I only need one. I'll take one more carrot because we did already. And then I need an onion. So we're going to do um, about four carrots. We're going to do two onions, a little bit of celery. And then um, I actually can cut this right here, okay? And then we're going to get that into the food processor. We're going to do food process some, and the others we're going to just chop. Because we want a little bit of texture, and we want a little bit of, you know, more bulky texture. This is going to be a great dinner. No, not again. You can put it on the tray. You can prep this um, over the weekend, and then you can serve it either over rice or pasta, or if you have those pad thai noodles. A lot of people are into the keto, so they're using like kelp meat, kelp noodles. I'm going to, yes. Um, and if you don't want to do any noodles, you don't have to. You can just eat the, the curry in a bowl. Just get yourself a little crusty piece of bread, which is what we're going to do today. All right, look away from the onion, look away. All right, so we're using our little food processor. We got to juice it up a little bit. We have our food processor, the te teeny tiny one we're using tonight. Now for those big chunks, it's okay because we're going to saute all that. You can get that out. All right, Jeremiah, can you grab us some garlic, please? We need yep. some fresh garlic. And then Sophia's going to dice the pepper, the celery, and the onion and the shallot. She can do that. Um, the other thing is that normally there's many, many different kinds of curry. There is um, Egyptian curry, Jamaican curry. Um, sometimes they serve it with goat or chicken. We are going to give you a vegan option and a chicken option. What do you want me to I want you to cut garlic, pepper, yep, all that stuff has to be cut. And a lot of the time where you have um, the curry, they substitute maybe sometimes some different spices. 
So today we're actually going to take out the eggplant. We're going to take out the cilantro because we have a friend who's allergic to cilantro. And we're going to substitute parsley and celery. I think those are nice options. It's almost like a sofrito, kind of. Um, you know, and curry is in all different versions, all different types of nationalities, except for Italian. So the fact that we're doing it today is very, very funny, but we are doing it um, for a purpose because it's National Curry Day. I think it's National Curry Week, if I'm not mistaken. And that would be really funny because a whole week of curry. I don't know, my kids might like it, but I wouldn't be so happy. Jermaine, could you throw that out for me and give me the bowl back, please? So we've got our juices here. We're gonna save these for later in case we need more spice in our chicken curry, we'll add these in. So we've got the lemon jalapeno, the ginger, and the turmeric. The ginger is the one that I would be um, more purposeful to use, thank you, that I would think we're gonna be using, but for now we can just move this stuff over here. We've also got our really nice uh, paprika salt that we're gonna be using for our chicken curry. We have our coconut milk, our tomato paste, and then we have balsamic vinegar. We're using balsamic vinegar in substitute of brown sugar because we don't eat we don't usually eat brown sugar and i definitely don't want it in my dinner but it does give it a nice sweetness and a really nice just a nice caramelly flavor into that so we'll be substituting balsamic vinegar you can do a red wine a carlo rossi a chianti something like that instead or you can do some grape juice or you can just go right ahead and use um, that brown sugar if you like it's really only like a tablespoon but I just, gluten-free dad doesn't like to eat sugar, and I don't like to eat sugar, so I want to keep it like that. Keep it as healthy as possible. So Sophia's just kind of getting all our veggies diced up here. Um, Jeremiah, I'll take the West End now, if you don't mind. So for those of you um, who are new to our show or just tuning in, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Jeremiah is my 17-year-old. He's gluten-free. Sophia is my 12-year-old. She is gluten-free, dairy, select, and soy-free. And our entire household of five are gluten-free. And we, um, we do have a budget for food. We do like to eat organic, but we um, pick and choose when that happens. We also um, have a gluten-free co-op that we started um, about a year ago. And it is giving us access to quality, high-quality restaurant-style products that we can share with all of our subscribers and our members. So if you'd like some information about that, you can always email us or Facebook us Where's and let us know. You want to get it out? It's probably in the drawer right there. Do I have to peel Jeremiah, it? can you take this for me, please? You do have to peel the garlic, yes. All right, so um, an easy way to peel garlic, we'll just give you guys a little clues. Cut off that, that nut part there and then just hit it with either your hand or a knife or something, maybe a dish. And once you squash it, it comes right out of that. You know, they have like a lot of different things in in the stores, like knickknacks and gadgets yeah, you could use. I like gadgets, but I also like my favorite tools are what, Sophia? Our hands. Our hands. All right, so you can put the garbage in here, honey. My hands. My hands are my favorite tools. So if you've just gotten gluten free and you're not really sure and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't, just take the food that you like and substitute those gluten-free things for the things that have gluten in them, like flour, like pasta, like um, some of the ingredients that you might find. We couldn't find a curry paste that did not have soybean oil in it, so we decided we're gonna make our own curry. We're just not gonna make it into a paste. We're gonna more saute than it. Awesome. Jeremiah, can you open the chicken for me and get started on that? And just bring it up here first and then I'll tell you what I want you to do. What, baby? This is the That's good. I like a lot of garlic. It's very antiviral, antifungal anti-inflammatory, all of the things that we need to keep our bodies healthy, especially when they call this flu season. They call every season flu season now. I feel like every season we move into, they're like, flu season, red nose season, this, that. Just everybody take care of your body. Um, I don't want that. Just give me a little package, please. I'm sorry. It's like right, you're going to use that. I'm not. <laughs> it's right over there, Jeremiah. Sorry, honey. I put my arm up, honey. Right over there. All right, so for our chicken today, um, thank you to Excellent Meats. We're gonna be using our beautiful chicken that's packaged. You're gonna cut this open for me, Jeremiah. Can you put it in the bowl? That yellow bowl for me, please, thank you. So we're just getting all of our like veggies ready. We're getting everything ready to saute. Just wipe it on there, honey. I'm going to get my West Bend started. So since this is basically a one pot dish, 
I could do everything all together, but I'm gonna have Jeremiah cook the chicken on the back burner, just because I wanna be able to show you a little bit more stuff. Um, and then I wanted to do the donuts, so I don't want you to miss out on anything. Maybe you want me to press it into there. You could press it right into there. I think that's a great idea. So for our donuts, we're just gonna go back to, we have two sides of the scoops. Um, it's completely up to you. I like to do the smaller one, because I feel like it cooks better, and you want your donut cooked all the way through. So all I'm gonna do is take um, handfuls of these, and I'm gonna drop it right into our fryer. The oil's already hot. I'm gonna do about six at a time, so that they don't crowd each other. And you wanna drop the basket down first, and then drop down your donuts. And you wanna give it a little shake once they get in there so they don't stick to the basket. Let me move this so maybe you can see it a little bit better. That is very hot. All right, we're gonna give it a little shake. They're gonna need about four to six minutes in there. Oh yeah, just like that, baby. Hold on, mommy help you? You gotta use your muscles. There you go, you got it. There you go. All right, Jeremiah, can I have the, um, the flour right there in the baggie. So for our chicken curry, we're going to give you the option of, we're using Josie's coat of oats today, so I'm going to put our chicken in that, and Jeremiah's going to cook it on the back. You want to get a pan hot, ready, with some oil in it, please? And then you can start warming that up and turn the oven on 350, please. All right, so I'm going to get, um, a little bit of that flour into our dish. Now, Josie's Coat of Oats is a, a seasoned oat flour, and that's a really nice option for you instead of rice or corn, and if you have those allergies, you want to make sure that you check your, your labels. Um, I have the chicken, yeah, I have the chicken breast, and I'm just going to cut it into small portions. I'm going to take Sophia's knife, Sophia, so you're not going to be able to use this knife anymore. And I would normally cut it on a cutting board, but I just have her here. So if you gotta get the peppers off, put them into the, put them into a bowl. Don't put them in there. Don't put them in, no, because I gotta cook that separate. And then I need you to get started on the celery, okay? So I'm just cutting the chicken into smaller portions. And it's wiggling out of my hand a little bit. <laughs> and if you're vegan, this is when you would bypass this, this little, um, Step, and you would just start to, like I did, get your thing heated. Jeremiah, can I have some olive oil, please? Thank you, honey. And I'm going to get my chicken. I'm going to check my donuts, shake them, shake them a little bit. Now, just for um, show's sake, I'm going to show you a little bit of the donuts, I mean the uh, chicken, on the West Bend and then Jeremiah can do the rest on the back burner. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna coat it in Josie's coat of oats, isn't that a funny thing? And we're gonna take it into our heated pan. Jeremiah gave us some olive oil we're gonna put in there. You could take it back now, honey, please. Thank you, baby. And I'm gonna get this nice and hot. Now the good thing about the oat flour is it does get nice and crispy. It also adds a little thickness to your curry. No, just, you know, I'll pull it out of the bag and just cut off the front part slice. You know what I mean? You don't have to, you don't have to get all crazy. All right, I've got it. I'm going to drop it into my West Bend, our nice chicken coated. Now, you're saying, like, you know, what kind of seasonings? We've got, actually, Italian seasonings in here. But I told you, Italians don't do curry. So we're going to put a little bit more seasoning in this to get it going. We've got some ginger, which you can actually put right into your, um... Tell me when it's done. Right into that's enough. You can put that right into your blended of Josie's Coat of You could add that right to it and then just stir it around a little bit. Not yet, honey. Thank you. You can move the stuff that you're already done with away from the Just to tell you what this tastes like. Forty minutes and eight pieces. Some of that. I'm gonna put a little bit of that paprika salt in there. Checking on our donuts. They're looking great. It smells like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mm -hmm. They do have a lot of paprika in their chicken, don't they? 
All right, Jeremiah, you can take this and get started on that. Let me know what you're going to do. Okay, just cut more. Be good. Cut like another breast or two. Be good. Yeah. All right, so we've got our chicken cooking in here. And we're going to get it nice, crispy. Nice and golden. I know you can't see that, but I'll show you later. Try to tilt it for you a little bit. Got a nice, crispy chicken on there. Now, for chicken curry, you want to cut your chicken into small pieces. And you want, you're gonna, you don't have to do that anymore, honey, that's fine, but I would like to at least peel these so that I can get them going. Put this in a separate bowl first. Okay, you can put it in this one together. So we have our carrots, our onions, our garlic, and what else is in here, Sophia? Our turmeric in here, turmeric is the best. So we've got our celery and our pepper in there. We want to make sure we have all of our colors of the rainbow. We've got orange, we've got white, got red, we've got a green. We're also going to have a little bit more white and a little bit more white. This so we're just missing a yellow. We need a yellow. This is purple next. So you can use a yellow squash. That's what it looks like. Well, purple we would be using, normally you'll use a red onion, which we don't have today. So we're going to use a shallot and a regular onion. And um, we would have eggplant, which we're omitting, and we're doing the celery. But we might have a little bit of zucchini in the cabinet. We're also going to be doing a sweet potato and a regular potato, which is going to be fantastic. Then I actually have that turned on on the back burner to warm that up a little bit. This one back here. Thank you. All right. So if you guys are um, joining us just now, we're making some curry curry for you. Some chicken curry and some vegan curry. We're making some delicious pineapple coconut donuts that are looking amazing. And Sophia is chopping vegetables and getting ready for the curry. Got all of our ingredients here. So Sophia, do you want chicken curry? Yeah. You don't know, Jeremiah, come here for a minute. I want to ask you that question when you're done. Um, we have a few friends that do make curry and it is super, super delicious. We do know that in Jamaica they use goat curry. Here, turn it off. You know what to do, honey. They do make a goat curry. And Jeremiah, tell um Tell everybody watching, you love, love curry, right? Yep. He asked me to make it. This is how many years? Ten. Ten years because who made it for you? Miss Wilson. Miss Donna Wilson made him chicken curry when he was in like, what is it, kindergarten? Yeah. Made it for him in kindergarten and he asked for it every year after that. He even wanted it for his birthday. I don't know if it's better than chicken and biscuits or fried chicken, but he asked for it all the time. And it's just very flavorful. She did an amazing job. So um, the last time we were at soccer together, I was asking her how she makes it and what does she do. She was telling me all the ingredients she puts in it. So we tried to do it the best that we can, like Miss Donna does, and we had to put our little twist on it. So we hope that we make you proud, Miss Donna. Don't put a twist. <laughs> we hope we make you proud, Miss Donna. But if not, um, you'll have to come over and show us how to do it the right way. <laughs> right, Jeremiah? You're going to have to show us how to do it the right way. One of these days, we'll get her over here. All right, so we've got our chicken cooked, and we only did a few pieces just to show you. Sophie, could you go give this to Jeremiah? Did you hurt yourself? Come here, honey. Come no, okay. What did you do? You hurt yourself. And this is good because you're going to use these. You're going to use this deliciousness in this pot to saute your ingredients. So we've got our celery and carrots. I like a lot of carrots, a lot of turmeric. Got our onion. Can I have a different knife, please? This knife is terrible. There you go. And can I have lots of water, Pia? The water is like over here, I think. So I'm just chopping up that onion. She got, I asked her for a drink of water. She's going over there. She has her water. She's drinking her water right in front of me. That's not nice. I'm thirsty. All right, we've got our shallot, our onion, our garlic. Thank you. I wanted to drink so many of this drink. It's really. Mm, thank you. You can put that away. All right, so I'm starting to cry because of these onions and shallots. This is That's why I'm saying over here. Sure, you left them hanging. I'm gonna just throw it all in there now. That's what the food processor is good for. Just get it all in there. 
All right, and you can take all this away, except we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this, and you're gonna open the tomato paste for now, okay? I think we need this. Let's take this stuff off. Ugh. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't have it. Ugh. All right, we've got our little spatula we're gonna stir with. Once I get this turned a little bit, I'm gonna put some more donuts in. So this is when we start to multitask, right? Multitask. Multitask. This happens all the time in our house. So I just want you to see how this dough kind of puffed up a little bit. And that's because we let it rest and we let all the ingredients come together. And that's what makes it a nice donut. We're gonna drop those in. Another six. Hold on. Give it a little shake. Shake and bake. And we're going to add some more of our spices to here. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You need to hold this? Okay, go ahead. Good girl. Great. Thank you very much. And you're going to open that other jar, the other can of uh, tomatoes over there. What? So we have our tomato paste. Yeah, I need the tomatoes too. So uh, curry has a lot of tomato in it. It's got tomato paste, diced tomatoes, sometimes even fresh whole tomatoes. Um, that's completely up to you. We're going to let this start cooking. I'm going to actually start putting everything in here. Mama, you want to get that metal before you oh, the I've got the... I'm going to add the tomato paste. This is just cooking a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. I wanna make sure I don't forget anything. I need a little squeeze of lemon in there too. Sophie, could you get a lemon for mommy? Do you want me to open this? Yeah, I'll do the lemon last, never mind. Sorry, baby. I'm gonna add a little bit of that coconut milk. And I'm going to save some for later so I can brighten it up a bit. I'm going to add the balsamic, about a tablespoon. I'm going to add our paprika salt, which we love. Since we're missing out on the ginger, I'm going to add a little bit of this ginger juice. Now this is powerful, very powerful. It's potent. I'm going to add about a teaspoon. That should be good. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of the turmeric juice. That's also very potent. But very healthy for you. Or you can put this away. Your arms are so alive. Come push up. Put this away for mommy. Alright, I've got um, a can of diced tomatoes. Actually, this is from Aldi's and Organic can of diced tomatoes. We'll do the lemon last, but you keep reminding me of that, please. All right, now what we're going to do is put the top on and let this simmer a little bit so you can put the top on me. Smells good. I'm not a big fan of, chi of curry, but I love it when Miss Donna made it for us. And I hope that I do some justice to the formula. Yeah, okay, you could take this away, this away, yeah. Maybe I could turn it this way so I can smell it out of the hole this way. It really does smell good. It's so aromatic with those spices, I just love it. Take this away, you could take these two away for now too. Right? All right, so we're gonna get cleaned up a little bit and we're gonna get started on our salad, which is gonna be really super yummy. Um, the salad is going to be super simple. You guys know when I do something a little bit more complicated or more ingredients, like a list of ingredients, then I try to do something very simple for the salad or the, uh, the appetizer. And then for the dessert, it's really super simple because you're making donuts while you're cooking. What? What happened to Jeremiah? Oh, he won't touch the chicken. So we've got, we've got, watch out, Sophia. Watch out, Sophia. Sophia, back up so they can see. So we've got Jeremiah who won't touch the chicken. I've got Sophia who always wants to put her hands in everything. And then um, he's, he's, why don't you use a knife and a, and a fork? 
Kind of like a piece of meat. <laughs> Sophie, you gotta get him on film with that thing. That's hysterical. He's got his phone in his pocket, probably. Alright, I'm just checking on our donuts. I got one sticking to the bottom. Just want to take something metal and release it from the basket, which is fine. That happens when you're frying if you forget. Uh, I'm going to turn our curry up to 375 and I'm going to give it a little shake. Jeremiah, any chicken that you have, I will take. Mm. Any chicken that you have cooked. Good. Thank you so much, honey. So we want to get the chicken in there because we want to infuse all the flavors together, especially when we're doing a, a one pot like this because literally you could have cooked your chicken, taken your chicken off, and then cooked all of your vegetables in that nice chicken, like, drippings. And then you could have just topped it with all your tomato and your curry and all of your coconut. Now, a lot of times, uh, pad thais, they have peanuts in them, things like that. You always want to make sure they do not contain the ingredients that you're allergic to. You, If you're going out to eat, um, there's a Thai restaurant in Pennsylvania that my friends like to go to. She's allergic to cilantro, but... She always has to ask, can they take the cilantro out? Sometimes they have the sauce already made, and they cannot do that. So you always want to make sure you're communicating wherever it is that you're going, if you're going to go out to eat, that there's something you cannot have, and be very specific. Ask to look at the labels and read the ingredients. And that's really what's really great about our co-op, is that we have, um, we have access to all of the label and the ingredients of everything that we're purchasing. I got it. What'd you get? You did? Good job. All right, so now we have some, um... Mom, look at him now. Look at him now. Look at him. He's trying really hard. He's doing a good job. Now we have some herbs that we're going to use for our curry and some okay, chips to chop those. This is, this is parsley. No, this is parsley and this is oregano, and Sophia's going to chop up some of that. So get your cutting board. Cilantro tastes like salsa and parsley does not. Now the other good thing, too, if you don't want to do all of this, there's a couple <laughs> different tips and tricks that I'm going to give you. You could use uh, store-bought ketchup or uh, a sriracha, some sort of a sriracha. You can also use a uh, store-bought barbecue sauce and just add those, those, um, um, I'm trying to think, those curry spices to it. And also you can do, um, there's a lot of salsas out there that have everything in it that we just used. It has peppers, onions, it has, um, Garlic, it's got all of those really delicious things. That's the cheese knife. Put it back. So cute. Yeah, okay. And then you can add the ingredients to make it taste like a curry. There's also some packaged products that you can buy. Um, I'm not really fond of them because the sodium is so high. And I'm going to read something to you. I'll be right back in the wrap. I'm going to cover up the name, but this is something that my mom gets for herself, and this is a pad thai. It's optional to put in shrimp or tofu, eggs or mixed vegetables, and the sodium is 780 milligrams for three servings. You think this package is three servings? No. You're going to sit and you're going to eat this whole package of pad thai. So you're going to get... 780 milligrams of sodium. Now, 18 grams of sugar. Now, I for one have a sodium deficiency. I know, I always, I always see. I have a sodium deficiency, but I don't want to get it like this. I want to get it from natural things that have sodium in them already. So I just find this upsetting to me. But gluten-free grandma likes it, and since she's not here today, we could talk about it all we want. She went out with her friend, and she's probably getting something like this to eat. <laughs> Now there's something else that we really do like, and that's this little taco dinner kit, which you could turn into a Thai curry chicken dinner kit by just adding your certain spices and your own desires in here. And this is really nice. It only has 440 milligrams of sodium. Isn't that lovely? And it's four servings worth. So divide that into four. And then this you can put in all of your chicken curry ingredients, toss it over the brown rice noodles, and you'll have a nice really little dinner, but this is a taco pasta dinner that Sophie and I are going to have later. What did you say, honey? I'm cutting time, or whatever. Oregano. It's oregano, yeah. 
All right, so we've got a couple of our donuts done. I'll drop down one more batch and then I'll leave the rest for gluten-free bread later. Otherwise, he'll be disappointed he didn't get it. Thank you. Hold on, baby. I, I think I'm gonna... Don't do it yet. Have to taste one. Don't do it I'll yet. One that's ugly. Don't do it yet. All right, let's check on our curry. Oh, it smells good. So the Italian version is really chicken cacciatore. We just don't put any um, coconut milk in it, but we do put uh, wine, Mom, a wine in there. Mom, you're using the texture Yeah, just leave it for now. Please leave it. I don't want you by the fryer. Thank you. We don't separate the stuff so I got. All right, so I'm going to add the rest of the coconut milk. Mom, this is good. This is the part It's going to give it that customary color that we have. Mmm. It smells like, um, like sweet and sour. All right, you're gonna put in those herbs for mommy, please. Jeremiah, you having more chicken for us? No. Parsley. Parsley, thank you, Sophia. Keep a little bit for later. Oregano. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have fresh herbs in your home, even in the winter time, because then you can just pick from it when you want your recipe. All right, so I'm gonna let Sophia do a little. A little taste test before we get started on our salad. All right, because our salad's going to be quick. It's very hot. Please be careful. So in our uh, family's restaurant, we never, ever, ever made curry. We never made anything Asian or anything Mediterranean other than Italian food. I think you need more ginger. More ginger. Okay, get the ginger juice. We also, um, we did steaks, seafood, and pasta. We did a lot of um, seafood. Um, my dad actually was okay, one yeah. of the gentlemen who would um, go to the, the, um, the fish market and get clams and shrimp and everything. You're going to put this down? And we're going to do it gently, okay? We don't want to do too much. Do a little bit at a time, like one teaspoon. That's one, okay? That's enough. And then we can use some of the powdered ginger. Mm -hmm. Stir that around. Not with that. I've got it right here, so Put the ginger juice away, and then you can stir, okay? Put all this away, and then you can stir. All right, so um, my dad would go to the fish market, and he had a very good relationship. The guy's name was Angelo, I can remember to this day. And then when, we got, uh, when the business got more profitable and busier, we'd use Ron Smith Seafood, who actually came to our rescue. At one point when we lost all power, he brought one of his freezer trucks to Seaside, and we put all of our food in it so we didn't lose anything. We had a lot of power outages in Seaside. Um, growing up, I just remember those times. It was very stressful for my dad, but he was always capable to keep the faith and stay very calm, which I loved about him. He always found the good in in every, every situation, really. All right, you all set? Now we're going to do salad. And we're going to do the lemon juice at the end, okay? So we've got it coming to a rolling bubble here. It's really looking spectacular. Mm, it's smelling it's like amazing. I think it's too much like pasta. Did it really? Okay, good idea, honey. Good idea. All right, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, and I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to wait for Jeremiah to give us some more chicken. Check on our donut. We're going to do the salad now, so just keep it here. Thank you, honey. A couple more pieces of chicken. There you go. Thank you. Get our pineapple. Get the lemon. All right, so for our salad today, we're making it really super simple, like I said to you before. No, not yet. Um, we're going to do just a little bit of pineapple. We're going to just like layer this. Like that? Yep, we're going to do just, actually you want to cut it into chunks? Yeah. So we'll do pineapple chunks. And we're going to do it with a little bit of cayenne pepper, little paprika salt, and a little bit of parsley. Normally I would use cilantro, but we're going to bypass that today. I'm also going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper into our curry. So by making the salad and the um, donuts, we're kind of mimicking flavors in different things. 
Um, you could do some pineapple juice in here if you wanted to, to give it a little sweetness. Uh, a curry always has all of the sweet, sour, spicy, and what's the other one? Jeremiah, mm, what's the other one? Salty. Bitter. Salty, sweet, spicy, sour. I think Bitter. I got them all. Bitter. Yeah, so we got the five taste buds, right? Sophia's chopping that pineapple really nice. We've got a sweet, um, delicious pineapple. Mm. Just gonna put a little bit of parsley on top of that. And we're gonna be almost done. It's almost gonna be time to eat. We hope you guys be my own. Bring your own napkin. We hope you brought your own napkin because you're certainly gonna be drooling I over this curry. Oh, that's enough for now, honey. It's just the three of us today. Gluten free dad's not here. Gluten free grandma's not here. Just the three of us today. And you guys, and who's ever tuning in. We appreciate you. We thank you so much. Yeah. And, um, if you have any questions, you want to just give us a little comment on the bottom or check our Facebook page. We will be putting the recipes up over the weekend. All right, so I've got a little bit, no, a little bit of chili Chicken. powder. Thank you, honey. That's chili powder, not chicken. Not chicken. This is the chicken. Thank you, honey. Um, a little bit of chili powder. Oh, I thought it was cayenne. A little bit of chili. And Sophia's going to go get the paprika. And she's going to use her favorite paprika. thing. Paprika. Why did you take that parts of the um, pineapple out? You don't like it? Because they're white. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Now you pull out the paprika. It depends on if you like it or not. Sophia loves paprika. It she loves the smoked smoky paprika. Flavor. It does give it a smoky flavor. It's, you're right. Alright. I think we're almost done, guys. Let's get it going. All right, we've got our donuts ready. We have our uh, beautiful light salad ready, and we're just gonna eat it like that. I, I need to take one. If you wanted to splash a little bit of balsamic vinegar on there, you could, or even better, a little coconut yogurt or some Greek yogurt. It would be really nice. Very light, very it delicious. You can, I guess. Go ahead. All right, we're gonna get our donuts out. Got our donuts here. Now our donuts for gluten free dad, we're not gonna put anything on top. But the donuts for us, I think we can handle a little bit of powdered sugar. Sorry, excuse me. Sophia, I'll let you do some of the powdered sugar. And then last but not least, Jeremiah, you wanna oh, come up, we're I gonna finish up. We're gonna add some of the lemon juice to that. And and a little bit of lemon zest. Now we're ready to eat. You ready to eat? Yep. You happy about chicken curry? Yep. That'll be good, right? Yeah. All right. So we've got Sophie. You can put this away. I'll trade you. Thank you. All right. So we've got our powdered sugar on our donuts, which so, uh, Jeremiah took away from us. So if you can clean up that. We have our really light and delicious pineapple salad, parsley, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper. And then we have our chicken curry. Ooh, that's getting hot. Excuse me. All right, now we're adding to our chicken curry what we have ready in the back, which is just potatoes, regular potato, sweet potato, and red lentils. Ooh, let me have one of these. Mmm. Mmm. I like those. <laughs> I like your donuts. <laughs> He's taking back his box. Mmm. 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 Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to just add some of this to our pot. I think I should go ahead with the purple one. I don't want to use the purple one. So now we've got our potato and our lentil in our chicken curry. And if you don't want to, you don't have to add that. You can put that on the back. Thank you so much. And now it's certainly time to eat. 
I'm going to turn this all the way off and just kind of like sit there for a moment while we get our napkin on our plates ready. Jeremiah, are you ready to eat? Yeah. Sophia, you're in charge of the napkins. I'm going to dish up everything and Jeremiah can bring me the bread. I just tossed it in the oven. Give it one more minute. We've got a nice crusty loaf of bread that we're going to share together with our chicken curry, our pineapple salad, and our donuts, which we're eating completely backwards today. We've got our donuts first, then our salad, and then we're having our chicken curry. Got a little pile. We can't get it to pile up today. What's going on? We need a donut pile up. There we go. That's good enough. All right. No, that's good for now. All right. So, Jeremiah, bring us the um the loaf. We'll try now and cut it. Sophie, you pass out the napkins on the forks. Are you hungry? Yeah. I'll take the bread and I'll take the big uh, bread knife, please. We've got our napkins ready. We hope you do also. We hope you're enjoying the show today. Um, we're glad that you tuned in, and we hope that you find something interesting, something new to cook. Thank you. Uh, this is our big crusty loaf of bread. We're going to each have a nice piece with our chicken curry. Now, if you wanted to, after your bread is done, you can toast it and obviously put some butter on it. I like to cut it upright like this, it's easier. And I've got my beautiful helper to assist me in that. Jermaine can take that back and that too. All right, so we've each got a nice piece of crusty bread. And I'm just going to top it with our chicken curry. Yum, yum, yum. It's a nice dish of chicken curry. Make sure you put enough chicken in there. Get a piece of parsley and go take a picture. So I'm going to make sure that you get chicken in there. I put it back by the sink. And want to make sure you get all those veggies in there that Sophia cut up so lovely. So it's up to you how you want to start your day. You want to start it with some chicken curry? Or do you want to start it with your pineapple salad? Or do you want to start it with your pineapple coconut donut? So this is up to you, fork or spoon. I guess you can totally decide. But I'm just gonna have a little bite of the celery. I burnt my tongue this morning, so I don't know how wonderful I'm gonna feel when I put something hot on it. So I'm gonna wait for the kids to come. Come on, guys. Jeremiah, come and eat with us. Mmm. So much flavor. A lot of spice. The chicken is really tender. Mm. You want to make sure that you cook that chicken and that you put it back in that pot and this is just going to get better and better and better as the days go by. So this is a great thing to make up ahead of time. Get your weekend prep done, right? All right guys, let's have a bite everybody. I'm, I'm too scared my tongue burnt it so bad. Mmm. 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 Need a little salt and pepper, maybe. What do you think? Good. Not like Miss Donna's, right? Not like Miss Donna's. Mmm. It tastes Italian. No, it doesn't. It does. Does it really? It tastes a little pasta. We need more ginger. That we need more ginger, more turmeric, and maybe more cumin. But we'll leave that up to you. Guys, I think we're done for today. What do you say? Turn all that off. We're going to actually just give you the recap, which we already did, I think. We made the chicken curry. We've got celery, peppers. We've got sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, lentils in there. Sophia and Jeremiah, I think we should add some more ginger and maybe some more... Um, some more paprika and maybe some more cumin we'll see but we um, had a really nice simple fresh pineapple salad with some parsley some chili powder a little paprika Jeremiah you want to try that why not it's 
It's so delicious. Do you want to try that? Pineapple. <laughs> you like pineapple. Whoa, he's afraid of pineapple. You want to try a piece? Yeah. Why not? Oh, yeah. No, no pineapple, pineapple coconut you. donuts. What They're my like powder. I can have. Did you like that the best? Yes. Really? You don't like the chicken curry the best? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, Miss Donna, I'm sorry, Miss Donna. I disappointed Jeremiah today. I'll have to make it again for you, except with Miss Donna's exact recipe. Yes. Please. Sophia, what do you like today, honey? Everything? That's hot, right? All right, well, it's Wait, time to bye. go. We hope you celebrate National Curry Day. Maybe you'll sing Wooly Bully like we did. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't think it as funny as, funny as I did. But that's how moms are, right? We think dumb things are funny. <laughs> Like you shaking her arm. <laughs> thank you, Sophia, for all your help today. You thank you, Jeremiah, for all your help today, and thank you for pupping up. We know they had a long day yesterday. They were sore from snowboarding, and they went to bed late, but it was a good day. So we thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for tuning in to ABC Gluten Free. We want you to come taste and see how good it is to be gluten free. Ciao, everybody. Ciao. Aprons by REM Designs. Mm -hmm. Wardrobe by Dulce and Gabbana, Adrian Vitadini, and H&M. Hair by Satney, Makeup by Artistry. Thank you to our pantry partners and fridge friends. Follow us on Livestream, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube at ABC Gluten Free. ABC Gluten Free is a production of American Vogue. God bless everybody.